Good evening. A Jefferson City family tonight is looking for answers after a unanimous vote during Monday's City Council meeting could leave their son without access to a high dollar drug to treat his rare disease. The council's vote would require people covered by the city's health insurance and in need of costly treatments and medications to use a specific service called Quantify Specialty Care. As KRCG 13's Amaya Henry reports, that leaves this family with concerns about their son's medical future. My husband Ryan works for the city of Jefferson. It's really disheartening that our city council members are making life altering decisions for families of our city and they don't even know what they're voting for. A Jefferson City family supported by city employment is worried that an unexpected shift in their medical insurance could threaten coverage of a treatment their son needs. Megan and Ryan Dudenhofer's son, Grady, has a rare disorder called Pompe disease. usually just have regular um, Anthem, Blue Cross, Blue Shield insurance. That's what the whole city um, utilizes for their insurance. And um, my husband went to the city council meeting on Monday night because he was made aware that it was on the agenda, the, uh, something about quantify. Anybody that has high risk or has high costing drugs, and it said in bold print, will be required to be part of this program. Quantify Specialty Care Program specializes in high-touch therapies and biologics for members with rare diseases and or chronic conditions. Dudenhofer says the new program brings uncertainty, a concern because Grady's past treatments could cost up to forty to $50,000, with no other alternatives available. He is on a drug called Nexviazyme. It's a high dollar drug. It's only one manufacturer. There will not be a generic version and it will not come at a lower cost. My son gets bi-weekly um, enzyme replacement um, therapy because glycogen storage disease is, um, it breaks down the muscles and causes muscle weakness all throughout his body. And she claims this is not the first time a switch in providers for the Dudenhoffers has been attempted by the city. Dudenhofer says her husband this summer was told by the city's human resources office and attorneys that they would like Ryan voluntarily to go off the city's provided insurance. She says the alternative suggested for them would not get the job done. Um, but being the advocate that I am for my son and the mother that I am, I fought until I found somebody that could point me in the right direction and I got a hold of someone where they led me to tell, they led to tell me that my son's medication would not in fact be covered. City Administrator Brian Crane released a statement indicating the projected claims for this year are $2 million over the city's annual generated trust fund. And he says this gap jeopardizes the entire program. He says Quantify mitigates this issue and the primary goal is that no city employee will be left without access to necessary medications or services. In Jefferson City, Amaya Henry, KRCG 13.